Pittsburgh is a bustling metropolis located at the intersection where the Monongahela and Allegheny Rivers join to become the Ohio River. Throughout history, several prominent names will come to mind whenever you think of the city, including Andrew Carnegie, Andrew Warhol, Mr. Rogers, and Mac Miller. This region is rich with culture, diverse terrain, high-quality restaurants, and markets to explore at your own leisure. Historically, Pittsburgh has been recognized as one of the major steel producers within the United States. This industry was popularized and cultivated by Andrew Carnegie, a Scottish immigrant who traveled to Pittsburgh in the late 1800s and transformed the city into a production hub. After years of pollution and the collapse of the steel industry, city council members revitalized the metropolis and surrounding neighborhoods to accommodate future generations. This revitalization also included the cleaning up of local rivers, infrastructure improvements, and the construction of a vast network of roadways slash bridges to connect locals. Over the past few years, Pittsburgh has drastically transformed itself into a popular urban environment for young entrepreneurs to establish businesses, start careers, and partake in many of the city's activities year-round. Throughout this documentary series, I will be showcasing some of my personal favorite locations from around the city that I believe are worth checking out. Upon entering Pittsburgh, I decided to stop at Rivers Casino Parking Garage and walk down to the Heritage Trail, which is on the north side of the Ohio River. This location offers tourists the opportunity to either walk or ride a bicycle alongside the riverfront, and is where our journey begins. If you are a fan of the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Pirates, the Heritage Trail is adjacent to both stadiums and offers a great view from ground level. Other points of interest along the trail include Carnegie Science Center, which features a Cold War era submarine and several other unique science exhibits worth checking out. Welcome everyone. Today we are in the beautiful town of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I will be recording today sort of like a little documentary. I want to show you some of my favorite sites from around the city, and today we're on the Heritage Trail currently. It's right by Carnegie Science Center in Heinz Field, and it's just right across here from the, the beautiful view of the city. So, today I will also be traveling to the Strip District and showcasing some of my favorite places around there. So, stick around and stay tuned. Alrighty everyone, this is actually a famous vessel. I think it was brought to Pittsburgh 30 years ago. And as you can see, tours operate every 20 minutes with a max of 10 people. And also due to the recent coronavirus developments, uh, tours have been limited at this location. But it's just a beautiful place. Highly recommend a trip with the family here. The next vessel that I'm gonna show you along the riverfront here right next to Carnegie Science Center is the Explorer. It's a really unique vessel. I believe they call this tour the, what does that say, Rivers of Steel. So if you ever plan a day trip down here with the kids or whatever, check out the Rivers of Steel. Another highly popular destination in downtown Pittsburgh is Rivers Casino.
right everyone we're on the North Shore Three Rivers Parkway Trail here's some of the various sites along the trail as you can see After our walk along the Heritage Trail, this will be a good time to discuss some attractions located within the heart of the Berg. As mentioned previously, the city has gone through several changes within the last few decades after the collapse of the steel industry. These changes were crucial to retaining residents and attracting new generations to this region. Institutions such as the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, UPMC, Carnegie Mellon University, and the Art Institute of Pittsburgh are the foundations for a successful future. Apart from the various universities and knowledge centers, you may also find several downtown establishments that are affordable and easily accessible. A few nostalgic locations include the Duquesne Incline, which is located near Pittsburgh's Southside neighborhood and scales Mount Washington, taking a riverboat tour on the Gateway Clipper, going for a hike at Point State Park, or even just relaxing at one of several fine restaurants offering the freshest of ingredients. One of the benefits of Pittsburgh is that there's always something to do, whether you're into visiting art museums, walking tours, shopping centers, or casual entertainment. In just a few minutes, I will be leaving downtown and heading to the Strip District, my favorite area within the city. But before we leave, there are a few more places of interest I'd like to discuss. You may have noticed how unique some of the skyscrapers are throughout this video, and one of my personal favorite architectural achievements is the David L. Lawrence Convention Center, which lies on the banks of the Monongahela River. This building is a large exhibition center, primarily used for special events and large gatherings. Pittsburgh's skyline is a unique blend of architecture consisting of smaller brick homes throughout the city's various suburbs and modern glass-lined buildings downtown. It has been stated that you cannot get from point A to point B without crossing over a bridge in the Berg. Although this statement may be true, Pittsburgh's identity lies behind the steel industry and how it shaped this metropolis till this day. Whether you are traveling over Veterans Bridge, Fort Pitt Bridge, Roberto Clemente Bridge, or any other you will realize how crucial they have become. Pittsburgh also conducts several area festivals throughout the year, including 4th of July fireworks shows at Point State Park, Picklesburg, which is a festival located on Roberto Clemente Bridge, Three Rivers Art Festival, Market Square Christmas Time ice skating rink, as well as a variety of ethnic food festivals hosted by local churches. All of these attractions mentioned in this portion of the video are within a few miles of each other in the heart of the city and could easily be visited within a day's trip. This is why Pittsburgh is one of my all-time favorite urban environments to explore, because it is relatively easy to get around, offers several area attractions at affordable prices, and is very family friendly. In future videos from this series, I will be showcasing other iconic territories from around the city including Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens, Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium, and my personal favorite, Kennywood Amusement Park. Now let's head over to the Strip District to see what's cooking. Ever since I was a kid, my family has traveled to the Strip District in search of fresh ingredients from all over the world. I've always had a passion for culinary and creating my own meals for others to enjoy, and this area of Pittsburgh features several local establishments to browse. Parking in the Strip is easy and typically runs $10 on a weekday and $15 on weekends, depending on the parking lot you select. I typically select Penn Avenue Parking, which is located right at the center of the district, near the large mural. Penn Avenue and Smallman Street consist of my favorite specialty food stores including Holy's Market, which features fresh seafood, beef, pork, and poultry products. Mancini's Bakery, which offers homemade breads, pepperoni rolls, and freezer items. Pennsylvania Macaroni Company, 
an Italian food store that sells cheeses, deli, and produce. Allegheny Coffee Company, local coffee house that roasts over 12 unique flavors in-house. Lotus Foods, which is an Asian market offering products directly from many Eastern Asian countries. Parma Sausage Company, offers dried cured products such as salamis, fresh sausages, and smoked meats. The original Permani Brothers. This location is open 24-7 and was featured in several movies such as Tom Cruise's Jack Reacher film. S&D Polish Deli, a very unique Polish establishment that sells freshly made Eastern European dishes and my favorite pierogies. Reina Foods, a traditional Hispanic market offering freshly made salsas, quesos, taco and tortilla shells. Strip District Meats, a local butcher shop offering exotic meats and Wagyu beef. Roland Seafood Restaurant, freshly prepared seafood and wood-fired pizzas. DeLuca's Diner, a highly popular breakfast establishment that often has a line out the door. My Sweet Lily, a specialty bakery that offers a variety of cookies, cakes, and other desserts. Pennsylvania Libations, they sell hundreds of varieties of vodka, whiskey, and alcohol from PA distilleries, and many more locations that cannot fit into this video. As you can see, there is a lot to see within just a few city blocks, which is why I recommend traveling to the Strip District several times to take everything in. Now we will take a journey to a local neighborhood in Northern Squirrel Hill, where one of my favorite rappers and Pittsburgh locals grew up. His name is Mac Miller, and one of his favorite locations in the city was Frick Park and Blue Slide Park, located near Point Breeze. Frick Park is the largest municipal park in Pittsburgh and offers hiking trails to explore with the family. Alrighty everyone, we have made it to Frick Park. That's cool in that tree. Oh yeah, you can see all the way down there, there's like a riverbed. See it? Yeah. Oh, a little chipmunk. Oh, you're in the hole. Yeah. And there you have it everyone. That was a quick walk through of Frick Park, which is absolutely beautiful. Nice little park to come with the kids. As you can see in the distance over there, there's some large solar panel units. I'm guessing the park utilizes those for all of the bathrooms and everything, so it's really nice. Beautiful entrance here, some nice stone buildings.
We have made it to Blue Slide Playground. The famous blue slide. As you can see, it's a nice playground for the kids for sure. A lot of different trails to walk on. Overall, Frick Park as well as Blue Slide Park were both great locations to go hiking and experience peace within the bustling city. This park was established by the Frick family in the early 1900s and still remains in beautiful condition. I didn't realize that there are over 100 different species of birds that can be found throughout the park as well as other wildlife. You can tell by the cleanliness of the park that locals are passionate and respect their environment which is always a good thing to see. Once you start walking deeper into the woods it's hard to believe that you are even near the city because of how quiet it truly is. Anyone looking to escape from a long day's work should travel here. The use of large solar panel units provide power to the park's facilities and serve as shade for the parking lot. The various hiking trails also featured off-road biking trails which are easily accessible and challenging. I decided to showcase both parks because Mac Miller was from this area and utilized these locations for several music videos. I even had the opportunity to visit the Homewood Cemetery, which is where the Pittsburgh native is laid to rest. This day of traveling around Pittsburgh has been exhilarating, but we still have a lot more to discover. Stay tuned for the next episode when we will travel to other unique locations from around the Berg.